and the Gujarat genocide happened just 13 years ago. It is haunting Narendra Modi's record. It will not go away. It will not be an issue that is allowed to rest until he answers for it. Narendra Modi has been implicated in staging this genocide against Muslims and Christians in Gujarat, India, by the United States State Department, by Human Rights Watch, by members of his own administration, by police officers who served under him. Over and over again, Narendra Modi has been directly implicated as orchestrating, as architecting this genocide, which was the first major incident of his political career. We also want to ask, why is the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, criminalizing religious freedom in India? Again, one of his first political accomplishments as uh, executive in Gujarat, before he became Prime Minister, was to pass a law which requires government regulation of religious conversion, which denies people the right to convert to a religion of their choice without permission from the government. So as we're here today to ask Google to shun Narendra Modi when he comes to visit next week, we want to remember that Narendra Modi is from a political party in India, which is a Hindu supremacist party, this party, the PJP, the Bharatiya Janata Party, is directly connected to a social organization called the RSS, the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh, which was founded around the time of World War II, after its founders went to fascist Germany, to fascist Italy, and studied what those people were doing to oppress their own population groups and their own minority populations. And after meeting with these Nazi leaders, with these Italian fascists, the RSS was then formed in India, and Narendra Modi, now the Prime Minister of India, is a lifelong member, since I believe the age of nine years old, of this all-male, uniformed, paramilitary organization that has millions of members throughout India, that has been directly implicated, directly linked to programs against Christians, against Muslims, against Sikhs, against all minority groups. And it is now seeking to pass laws throughout India, in which it has already been successful in many areas, which legislate the Hindu religion and force non-Hindus to be treated as aliens, as foreigners, to the land of their birth. Come to ask you, Google, shun Modi, and before you sit down to shake hands with the butcher of Gujarat, please take a few minutes and Google him. Thank you.